I think. And then... Okay, there we go. Hey team, what's happening? Balloon animals are not hard to make. The hardest part is actually blowing up the balloon. Let's figure out why and then do our best to try to blow it up. First off, blowing up a balloon by mouth can be dangerous, like straight up dangerous. You can pass out, you can strain a muscle, you can blow your cheeks out. I might have a hernia in part from blowing up too many of these guys up. Overall, it's something you need to check in with your physician about because it's more physically demanding than you may think. In the grand scheme of things, if you're blowing more than one of these up or if you're blowing these up at all, just get a pump. Before you start, make this as malleable as possible. You can do that by stretching it, okay? Moving it around. The warmer it is and the more stretchy it is, the easier it will be to blow up. Just like a warm rubber band or a warm muscle is easier to stretch, a warm balloon is easier to blow up if it's warm. One hand is gonna be maybe a finger width down from the knob, light enough that air can pass through, but it tight enough if I pulled this down, it wouldn't snap out of my fingers like that. So light up top. Okay, maybe an inch or two below that, I want you to do a tight hold. A good way to tell that, a tell if you did that correctly, is if you're holding in position and you blow in and this doesn't inflate, okay? You can know you know it inflates when it goes like this. Okay, not inflating inflating. Now the goal here is to get what we call like your first initial bubble. So your initial bubble should look like this. Okay. It can be this big. 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 As long as you get this bubble, this bubble right here, you're golden. How to get this bubble. You want to hold in the positions that we said. There's a sweet spot of how much you can stretch it and the likelihood of getting that bubble is the greatest. Okay, it's not gonna be up here and it's not gonna be super really close by. It's gonna be somewhere around here. Think about your strongest breath being when you're here, around the area. So you don't wanna <gasps> start off and blow as hard as you possibly can. You wanna start off light and then get stronger and stronger and stronger until you get to that sweet spot. And you gotta feel it out. I'm not really sure the physics behind it and exactly what you're doing with like the pressure of your mouth and the surface area of the inside of the walls. I, I have no idea. I'm not smart enough to understand it. Now with that strongest breath, if you don't get it within a second or two, stop. This is where people hurt themselves because they And they just keep going and going and going. And like, oh. and light here, tight here, okay? I wanna blow light and then get my strongest breath is gonna be at that sweet spot. Relax. The rest of it is not that bad. And there we go. Remember, depending on what you're gonna make, you're gonna need different lengths and different amount of air in the balloon. But you always let some air out towards the end. And that's it. That's how to blow up a balloon. But again, be careful. You could really hurt yourself. If you survived this, please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.